A Wall Street Journal article, more workers get side hustles to keep up with rising costs. Many young Americans say they're interested in part-time work. The October jobs report shows the number of Americans working part-time jobs in addition to a full-time job has increased 6% year over year to 4.5 million people. Nearly three quarters of workers said they need additional work to make enough income due to inflation. Uh, according to 1,700 U.S.-based employees research, uh, surveyed in October by Monster.com. Prudential fi Financial surveyed more than 5,000 people, found that 81% of Gen Z and 77% of millennial workers say they've pursued a gig-type job, side gig, uh, and are considering additional side work this year to su supplement their income. Um and by the way, these aren't just blue-collar workers. We're talking about white-collar workers that could be making as much as $100,000 or more going out and making more money because they're upside down with debt. They feel like they're squeezed, and they got to go do this. Uh, so pretty interesting stuff uh, there. And uh, also the data on young people who, by the way, uh, these millennials, younger millennials, and Gen Z... Uh, they've grown up in a world where the, for them it's all about controlling their time. They value their time and independence more than than my generation of Gen X and certainly the boomers. And they're used to working multiple part-time jobs to equal one full-time job. So that's not surprising. All right. What's coming on the horizon as the economy, does it fizzle? Does it continue on? Well, we don't know. Employers are planning to bump up salaries by an average of 4.6% next year. This is the most since 2007. This is according to a new Willis Tower Watson survey of 1,500 plus companies. A separate study from the Society of Human Resource Management Research Institute, Institute found that most of the 1,500 HR professionals said it would take 8 to 10% pay raises to retain workers. What does that mean? It means that this great resignation, this high volume of people leaving jobs to get more pay is going to continue, which means that inflation is going to be very stubborn, which means Jerome Powell, our feckless Fed chair, otherwise known as a moron, and his policy to raise interest rates to create higher unemployment isn't going to work. You don't hear that anywhere else. You hear it here. Biggest reason for upping pay is that three and four respondents said they're having trouble recruiting and retaining talent. So again, this is just going to continue to cycle out. And I don't want you all to miss this. The Fed put all of this liquid cash into the, into the economy during COVID in the form of the PPP loans, the Biden administration, the Trump administration, both of them are guilty. So all this money's out there. Okay, then we gave all these people these federal payments and paychecks. So you got all this... All this cash out there, that drove up prices. And now we're seeing people leave. And so what is the what is contributing to the stubborn inflation, make no mistake about it, folks, is wage pressures. When Taco Bell's got to pay a kid $14, $16 an hour, guess what? The cost of your bean burrito goes up. Just a fact. This is basic math. 